In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can delete photos from a photo library. So let's start with the most obvious one. When you're in your photos on top here, this is where you see your master file. And I like to delete photos from here because then I can be sure that they are deleted everywhere in the library, even if they are in albums, they will be gone from these albums as well. So this is the place to preferably delete photos. Also be mindful if you connect it to iCloud Photo Library, if you remove and delete photos from this library on your Mac, they will eventually be gone everywhere on your phone, on your tablets and everywhere else because it's all synchronizing and so, working together so they will disappear when it synchronizes next time. So let's start and select a photo. And now what we will do is the easiest way to get rid of one is to simply click on the delete key. And it will give you a warning that it will delete it from everywhere. That's what I just said with the iCloud delete. And did you see how this folder or album now popped up recently deleted? So this photo is now here and it will be sitting here for 29 days unless I delete it completely manually. So if you have hundreds and thousands of photos that you want to get rid of, they all go into that folder and as long as they are here, your size of your library will not be minimized because they're still in it. So if you do want to save space and free that up, what you then do is you simply go into that bin and you delete all and they will be gone from everywhere. So delete. And again, it will give you a warning that this time this is permanent and you can't undo it, delete, and now it's gone. And you can see that folder has now disappeared again. So when I'm back in my library on top here with the in the photos folder, I can of course select several at once. So I can, if they're in a row like this, I can select the first, and then the last with shift click and it will select all of these. Or I can go select one and then I want to delete that one. So I do command click, command click. And now I want to delete these three before I delete it by simply using the delete key on my keyboard. But you can also do a right click using control click and then you get the option to delete them. Again, it will give you the warning and now they're in the bin. Okay, so some people prefer to delete photos or to cull photos from their albums, especially if they already have a structure going in their photo library. So I'll show you the difference and how that works. I've got my albums here. I'm gonna go into that one. And I want to get rid of that photo. Now there's a difference between removing it from the album or deleting it from the library. These are two different things. Again, if you want to delete it, if you only press the delete key, it will disappear here. So I'll do that delete key and it's gone. However, when I go back here, you can see it's still here. The reason is that I have only removed it from the album and not actually deleted it. You can also see that it's not here. So this is one way to remove photos. However, if you want to delete them, let's try another one. What you then have to do is you click Command Delete. And again, it's gone from the album and it's also gone from the library and it will be in the bin. Here we go. So if you delete from an album and you actually want to delete and not to remove, 
always use command delete. I actually use command delete also when I'm deleting photos from here because it's just um, become a habit that I use command delete if I want to get rid of it completely. In here it doesn't really make a difference but it's just something to get used to. So command delete if you want to delete, if you want to remove you can use only delete or if you right click on one of the photos again control click you get the options. Um, you don't actually get the option to complete the, completely delete it from here. Uh, they have changed that, that's new, but you only get the option to remove the photo from the album. So whenever you're not sure, always use the right click and see what options you have. So I'm going to remove that one. There we go. So that's gone. It's not a very good one because we can't really see, so I'm going to do the same here. Remove this one and it's gone. But here, it's still here. It's only been removed. Before I go, I want to also talk about the media types because these are like albums with different types. And Apple does these albums automatically, so it might look different at your end. If you don't have live photos, for example, this will not be there in your case. But this is a good start to start deleting and cleaning up your library to go through these media types. And these are different from the albums that you've got down here. They might look like albums, but when you click, um, when you delete photos off and out of, of this view, so let's, let's do that. And I will click on delete. It will actually delete it completely. So I'll do that and just double checking. There it is. It went to the bin. It's gone. So this is not the same as the albums down here. And that way you can work through these media types. And I always recommend to start with the videos because they take up the most space in your library. So that's definitely a good start to, to go from if you don't want to start with the photos up here.